The Volkswagen air-cooled engine is an air-cooled boxer engine with four horizontally opposed cast iron cylinders, cast aluminum alloy cylinder heads and pistons, magnesium crankcase, and forged steel crankshaft and connecting rods. Variations of the engine were produced by Volkswagen plants worldwide from 1936 until 2006 for use in Volkswagen's own vehicles, notably the Type 1, Type 2, Type 3, and Type 4. Additionally, the engines were widely used in industrial, light aircraft and kit car applications. Type 1, 1 1.0 a Euro 1.6 liters, like the Volkswagen Beetle produced after the war. The first Volkswagen transporters used the Volkswagen air-cooled engine, a 1.1-liter, DIN-rated 18 kW, air-cooled four-cylinder boxer engine mounted in the rear. The 22 kW version became standard in 1955, while an unusual early version of the engine which developed 25 kW debuted exclusively on the Volkswagen Type II in 1959. Any examples that retain that early engine today are true survivors a Euro since the 1959 engine was totally discontinued at the outset, no parts were ever made available. The second generation transporter, the Volkswagen Type II employed a slightly larger version of the engine with 1.6 litres and 35 kilowatts. A T2B Type II was introduced by way of gradual change over three years. The 1971 Type II featured a new, 1.6-litre engine, now with dual intake ports on each cylinder head, and was DIN rated at 37 kilowatts. The Volkswagen Type 3 was initially equipped with a 1.5-litre engine, displacing 1,493 cubic centimetres, based on the air-cooled flat 4 found in the Type 1. While the long block remained the same as the Type 1, the engine cooling was redesigned reducing the height of the engine profile, allowing greater cargo volume and earning the nicknames of pancake, or suitcase engine. This engine's displacement would later increase to 1.6 litres. Originally a single or dual carburetor 1.5 litre engine or 1500s, 40 kilowatts, the Type 3 engine received a larger displacement and modified in 1968 to include Bosch D-Jetronic electronic fuel injection as an option, making it the first mass production consumer cars with such a feature equals 1000 equals 1938-1942 KDF wagon 1941 to 1942 Volkswagen car one quarter Belgian equals 1100 equals 1942-1944 Volkswagen Schwein wagon 1942 to 1945 Volkswagen car one quarter Belgian Volkswagen KDF wagon 1945 a euro 1953 Volkswagen Beetle 1950 a Euro 1953 Volkswagen Type 2 equals 1200 equals the 30 kilowatts 1.2 liter can be modified by the addition of a big ball kit which allows bigger cylinders and pistons from the stock 77 mm to 83 mm while keeping the stock crankshaft cam head etc and providing to a 25% power output increase equals 1300 equals 1285cc single port 1966 to 1970 twin port 1971 to 1975 equals 1500 equals 1493cc single port only 1967 a euro 1970 in euro us beetle 1967 a euro 1971 vw puma equals 1600 equals 1584cc single port the 1600 single port was used on the following models, 1966 a Euro 1970 Type 3, 1968 a Euro 1970 Type 2, 1970 Beetle, 1970 Carmen Gaia, Twin Port, the 1600 dual port was used on the following models, 1971 onwards Type 2, 1971 a Euro 1979 Beetle, 1971 a Euro 1974 Carmen Gaia, 1971 a Euro 1989 VW Puma Type 4 1.7 a Euro 2.0 liters in 1968 Volkswagen introduced a new vehicle the Volkswagen Type 4 the model 411 and later the model 412 offered many new features to the Volkswagen lineup while the Type 4 was discontinued in 1974 when sales dropped 
its engine became the power plant for Volkswagen Type IIs produced from 1972 to 1979, it continued in modified form in the later Vanagon which was air-cooled from 1980 until mid-1983. The engine that superseded the Type IV engine in late 1983 retained Volkswagen Type I architecture, yet featured water-cooled cylinder heads and cylinder jackets. The Wasser Boxer, Volkswagen terminology for a water-cooled, a post cylinder was subsequently discontinued in 1992 with the introduction of the Eurovan. The Type 4 engine was also used on the Volkswagen version of the Porsche 914. Volkswagen versions originally came with an 80 horsepower fuel injected 1.7 litre flat 4 engine based on the Volkswagen air cooled engine. In Europe, the four cylinder cars were sold as Volkswagen Porsches at Volkswagen dealerships. Porsche discontinued the 914-6 variant in 1972 after production of 3,351 units. Its place in the lineup was filled by a variant powered by a new 95 metric horsepower 2.0-litre fuel-injected version of Volkswagen's Type 4 engine in 1973. For 1974, the 1.7-litre engine was replaced by a 76 metric horsepower 1.8-litre and the new Bosch Elgetronic fuel injection system was added to American units to help with emissions control. 914 production ended in 1976. The 2.0-liter engine continued to be used in the Porsche 912e, which provided an entry-level model until the Porsche 924 was introduced. For the Volkswagen Type II, 1972's most prominent change was a bigger engine compartment to fit the larger 1.7 to 2.0 litre engines from the Volkswagen Type 4, and a redesigned rear end which eliminated the removable rear apron. The air inlets were also enlarged to accommodate the increased cooling air needs of the larger engines. This all new, larger engine is commonly called the Type 4 engine as opposed to the previous Type 1 engine first introduced in the Type 1 Beetle. This engine was called Type 4, because it was originally designed for the Type 4 automobiles. There is no Type 2 engine, or Type 3 engine, because those vehicles did not feature new engine designs when introduced. They used the Type 1 engine from the Beetle with minor modifications such as rear mount provisions and different cooling shroud arrangements, although the Type 3 did introduce fuel injection on the Type 1 engine. In the Type 2, the Volkswagen Type 4 engine was an option from 1972. This engine was standard in models destined for the US and Canada. Only with the Type 4 engine did an automatic transmission become available for the first time in 1973. Both engines displaced 1.7 litres, rated at 66 metric horsepower with the manual transmission, and 62 metric horsepower with the automatic. The Type 4 engine was enlarged to 1.8 litres and 68 metric horsepower in 1974, and again to 2.0 litres and 70 metric horsepower in 1976. As with all transporter engines, the focus in development was not on motive power, but on low-end torque. The Type 4 engines were considerably more robust and durable than the Type 1 engines, particularly in transporter service. Other applications during the 1970s, in Brazil, Volkswagen made available the 1700cc engine for its regular production car SP2. The 1700cc engine was identical to the 1600cc version, but with enlarged cylinder bores. Up until 2001, Beetle engines were also used to run several of the ski lifts at the Threadbow Ski Resort in New South Wales, Australia, and were maintained to a high standard by Volkswagen mechanics. Also in Australia, in remote opal mines, Volkswagen engines were modified to air compressors for jack hammers, etc. They used two cylinders on one side as a motor, and modified the head on the other side to produce a flow of compressed air. The opal fields are very dry and hot, so an air-cooled compressor has an advantage over liquid-cooled. Beginning in 1987, Dunwright Incorporated of Anderson, South Carolina has made a kit to perform the conversion to compressor. Equals industrial equals, Volkswagen AG has officially offered these air-cooled boxer engines for use in industrial applications since 1950, lately under its Volkswagen Industrial Motor brand. Available in 18 kilowatts, 
22 kilowatts, 25 kilowatts, 31 kilowatts, 33 kilowatts and 46 kilowatts outputs, from displacements of 1.2 litres to 1.8 litres, these industrial air-cooled engines were officially discontinued in 1991. Equals aircraft equals. The air-cooled opposed four-cylinder Beetle engines have been used for other purposes as well. Limch Flug Motor Run has since 1970 produced more than 6,000 certified aircraft engines based on the Beetle engine. Sauer has since 1987 produced certified engines for small airplanes and motor gliders, and is now also producing engines for the ultralight community in Europe. Especially interesting is its use as an experimental aircraft engine. This type of VW engine deployment started separately in Europe and in the US. In Europe this started in France straight after the Second World War using the engine in the Volkswagen car one quarter Belgian that were abandoned in the thousands in the countryside and peaked with the JPX engine. In the US this started in the 1960s when VW Beetle started to show up there. A number of companies still produce aero engines that are Volkswagen Beetle engine derivatives, Limch, Sauer, Harpy, Reevemaster, Great Plains, Hummel, the Aero Conversions Aero V engine, and others. Kit planes or plans built experimental aircraft were specifically designed to utilize these engines. The VU air cooled engine does not require an expensive and often complex gear reduction unit to utilize a propeller at efficient cruiser PM. With its relative low cost and parts availability, many experimental aircraft are designed around the VW engines. Formula V Air Racing uses aircraft designed to get maximum performance out of a VW-powered aircraft resulting in race speeds above 160 mph. Some aircraft that use the VW engine are Half View For aircraft use a number of experimenters seeking a small two-cylinder four-stroke engine began cutting Type 1 VW engine blocks in half, creating a two-cylinder, horizontally opposed engine. The resulting engine produces 30 to 38 horsepower. Plans and kits have been made available for these conversions. One such conversion is the Car Twin, designed by Dave Carr, introduced in January, 1975, in the Experimental Aircraft Association Sport Aviation magazine. The design won the John Livingston Award for its outstanding contribution to low-cost flying and also was awarded the Stanzik Memorial Award for Outstanding Design. Other examples include the Total Engine Concepts MCB-40 and Better Half View. Some aircraft that use the Half View engine are. References